I'm a big dummy here. Sixers lose 109 to 106 in one of the most embarrassing performances I've ever seen in my life. This video, we're not going to have no, no no actual music. We're not going to have no edits. This is going to be complete filtered. My thoughts on this poor, piss poor Philadelphia 76ers conglomerate. Like, this is ridiculous. Um, What can I really say, dog? Like, I, <laughs> literal, literal loss for words. Th this team is a embarrassment to Philly, an embarrassment to the fans who actually give a damn. There is no re – like, I'm not e even going to go into it. Like, boys, <laughs> literal loss for words. Like, this is – all I'm saying is this is a complete referendum of this team. No matter even if we, we like, you know, pull this joint out, which which I'm not even going to bring up. Why? Because the Sixers do not even deserve that benefit of the doubt, that trash performance they just shown. Um, this is <laughs> that joint was a complete referendum of this team. We are not championship ready. We are mentally soft. We are mentally weak. We do not have the killer instinct. Bulls really do not care. Like, the, like that. That is the only thing that I can really say about this team. This team that, like, you know, we all invest our time, energy, money, and faith in. And to lose in that fashion at home, like at home, dog, that's ridiculous. Like, I, I'm, I am legit flabbergasted, bro. Finna pull out the whole ACT SAT words, but like, dog, like. That's ridiculous. Like, everyone deserves blame. I don't even, like, bro, we already know who's going to, like, you know, say what, who deserves yada, 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 yada. But that 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 was a full team collapse from the coaching down to the players, everyone. Not, well, not, maybe not, 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 I right, look, not Seth, not Seth. Um, but that's that's that that is ridiculous to be in like the Sixers should be embarrassed. Like I'm embarrassed to be to be a Sixers fan, dog. I'm literally embarrassed. Like I'm getting so much text, D deservingly, right? I mean, I ain't talk that much smack. I, I, I was uh waiting until the the actual correct time to um unleash my actual fire, but that's not going to happen this year. Like even once again, even if we somehow pull this joint out, it doesn't even matter like i i am totally pissed as i know a lot of you guys are too um and i'm dumb for even getting on twitter <laughs> like i'm dumb for even about to for even for even about to um do this dog but it is what it is at, at like you know at this point no music no edits this is complete pure debauchery bro like let's get to it though shout out to the um to the to the hawks fans man y'all got y'all um y'all got it all right this is going to be this is going down as one of the uh, this is going down as one of the worst tweets in the last five years of philadelphia of sports by the way philadelphia 76ers is this when we're supposed to feel tired man i am legit pissed I can't really believe what I'm seeing. Joel Embiid and Seth Curry were the only Sixers to make a basket in the second half. Is that is that even true? Wow. That is crazy. Bro, even Doc's rotation, like, come, man, whatever. Don't want to pile on Simmons, but the potential of the Sixers hinge on the, the idea of having two superstars. It's undeniable that they have a superstar in Ben Simmons, Bomani Jones. Irving Magic Johnson, the Sixers shot poorly from the free throw line and from the field, including superstars Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Um, the Ben Simmons slander, yes, Ben deserves slander. Eight points, four of 14 from the free throw line, 28%, four rebounds, two turnovers in 38 minutes. I'm not going to pop, pop, I'm not going to pile on, on like him, but nah, bro, that is embarrassing, dog. Like, embarrassing. Like, <laughs> as someone who really be def defending Ben. This is embarrassing on me. This is embarrassing on everyone else, bro. Free throws is mental, dog. 28% at home? Nah, that's not, nah, dog. No, no. The Falcons to the Sixers after choking multiple 20-point leads. First time, <laughs> we literally pulled an Atlanta Falcons joint right now, dog. I, like, saw on um Instagram... 
somebody said that the Philly fan, the Philly sports nation, yada, 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 sold our soul for the Eagles championship. I don't even know how long I, I want to um, do this, John. Hold up. Three all defensive players, and you're getting cooked by this every time. Lou Williams, to, here, here we go. Lou Williams, bro. Lou, sweet pepper Lou. Former Sixers legend Lou Williams, 15 points, two rebounds, seven of 11. Like, my thing was, why didn't we, bro, I was telling my pops, why didn't we move Matisse on this ball? When the Hawks made that run, it was due to the bench, and our bench unit was in, right? I don't understand why Doc didn't didn't, didn't switch Matisse on him, bro. That is ridiculous. The Sixers Twitter account hasn't tweeted in over an hour. I'm assuming that is abnormal. Sixer fans, when they realize Ben Simmons is four for 14 from the actual free throw line, the Sixers choke job was so wild that no one is talking about the Jazz hitting 10 threes in a single quarter. Like, choke, bro. How the hell do you choke two consecutive fourth quarters in a playoff game, bro? Ben Simmons, when the Sixers ask him to get a bucket. Hoops reference a known Sixer fan. Sixers getting blown out game six, by the way. No way those mental midgets have what it takes to bounce back from this atrocity. Like, mentally weak, bro. An embarrassment, dog. That makes literally, like, literally no sense. The Sixers blew a 30-point lead to Lemon Pepper Lou, Trey Young, and the certified Gritty Hawks. To two small guards. We have three all-defensive players, and we can't get no stops. That's crazy. After, after game four, Ben Simmons said he knew – that he needed to be more aggr- uh, uh, be, uh, to be more aggressive to help the Sixers win. He took four total shots in Game Five. The Sixers wouldn't trade Ben for Harden. That's not factually true, but it's whatever. Doc Rivers and Ben Simmons after the Sixers send them to Ireland. That's ridiculous. Send them to the Gulag, bro. Shanghai Sharks. Everybody, dog. Tobias too. Soft self. How you get blo- bro? The ball got blocked. In the guts of in the guts of the game, dog. Come on, bro. That's embarrassing. Like they should literally be. In, I mean, them boys probably is, but I am. I am. I am legit embarrassed to be a Sixers fan, bro. Because you can't say nothing. Like you literally, you literally cannot say anything about this team or like anything to defend them. Like like I said, this is a, a actual referendum on these balls, yo. Like. No pride. No freaking pride, dog. No pride. Sixers, Hawks, recap, whatever. How epic was this Sixer collapse? 76ers were 165-0 and when leading by 25-plus points at any point over the last 25 seasons, including the regular season. And, of course, in crazy fashion, we do this dumb stuff. Tag a Sixers fan. Oh, hi. You're going to tag me. Trey Young. Six, Sixers and six, Trey Young. I am sick, bro. I am legit sick. In the second half, Tobias Harris 0 for 4. Ben Simmons 0 for 1. 2 of 6 free throws. Only Joel and beating Seth Curry made a field goal for the Sixers in halftime. After halftime. That has to be, a lot of that has to be on Doc's rotations, bro. Like, literally Doc's rotations. Dog. Ben Simmons hit two straight free throws. Six Sixers crowd. Like, that's embarrassing, bro. You can't even hit half. Like, nah, Doc. Like, no. <laughs> nah, bro. And the fact that Doc still co- coddles him. Like every single slander piece you you like you really see on Ben, on Tobias, on on like Doc, on the six on the Sixers in gen, gen, in general, even like whatever I'm gonna say Joel too, breaking those last two free throws, bro. Nah, dog. Nah, <laughs> no, like no. The Sixers should trade Ben Simmons for Kemba. Oh man. This ain't the first time the Sixers celebrated too early, bro. Uh, where's that? The Boston joint? Yeah, bro. Oh, dog, I am sick. Sixer fans right now. Oh, ish. Here we go again. Yeah, bro. John Johnson. If I'm reading the second half box score correctly, the Sixers not named Embiid or, Cur- or Curry. Zero field goals. Zero field goals. Going to show this to Sixer fans like we've shown this, the Game 7 scoreboard to Clippers fans. 69 to 87 in the fourth. What, what, what's that? That's like um, 18-point lead. That's an 18-point lead. 
and we put our starters back in, bro. That it like that dog. Sixers with Brett Brown versus six Sixers with Doc. And Bulls said that this was on Brett Brown. That all this dysfunction was on Brett Brown. No, the John went deeper than that. Sixers need more tweet. More tween has he splashed, bro. Dog. <laughs> yeah, man. We need somebody who can actually create their shot off the dribble. That was obviously supposed to be Marco Fultz. He's not here. Whatever. Um, but we need somebody in the playoffs when it gets hard to create for himself. That's why I wanted D Rose, bro. But I said it after game four. Sixers don't lose because of hero ball. They blew an 80 point lead because of coaching. Couldn't manage the lead and lack of aggressiveness, aggressiveness from Simmons and Harris. Well, this time at home, they blew a 26 point lead and lost for the same reasons. That's true, bro. Doc Harris Simmons. Couldn't manage a lead, bro. Come on, Doc. Sixers in the same category as the Cowboys. That's crazy. Like, I, you can't even debate that. Like, we have become Cowboys fans, bro. The six Philadelphia 70, 76er fans have become Cowboys fans. I am sick to my stomach to say that. That is ridiculous. Embarrassing, bro. Sixer fans right now, I am sick. Like... Philly had a cakewalk to the conference finals and somehow can't even get there. That Oh, my goodness. Not only did the Sixers blow a 26-point lead, they did it in front of AI and Dr. J. Good Lord. Lord have mercy. So what did we learn, Sixer fans? I learned that I wasted my time. <laughs> Worst investment I ever made. Uh, <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is like this, this is legit. Like I don't I don't even care if they come back. I really do not even care if the Sixers come back. That is a national embarrassment. The Sixers just this just, just, just threw a middle finger to us fans, bro. To the fans who actually care. Like, you know, don't just watch during the actual playoffs. Watch this team eighty two well th- this like year what? Um se- se- seventy two. But seventy two um games night in, night out defend this team they literally give us a middle finger because they literally didn't care there is no reason like that that no nah, dog the sixers made me me do this official nba bandwagon transferal firm for the suns i dog i i'm speechless speechless bro